Sup guys, I'm Pele Beats and after this video, you're going to make the hardest beats for Skilla Baby. It's really easy, but you will need some strategies that I will teach you in this video, so let's get into it. So Skilla Baby recently dropped the Fire album filled with hit songs like Mike Jack. As you can hear, the key point in this song is in the piano bass notes, because they have a really catchy and repetitive pattern that plays for all the beats, so let's make something similar. So we're going to my cryptic analog lab bank, and I want to try to use the piano 10, then of course we can change it later. So we can set the BPM to 170 or something like that and let's use the D minor scale. So in these beats the bounce is always the same, we have 3 hits like this that we can follow with the 808 and the hat too later. So let's add some variation here at the end. Okay like this, we can copy this over and maybe invert them. Let's maybe go up. Yeah. We can also try to shorten these notes like this. So we sound more human. Now I want to try to change piano. Yeah, this one is perfect. But we need to remove the reverb from this. Yeah. Yeah, let's just copy this over and let's try to create some more variation here at the end. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Okay, now that we have this really simple melody, we need to add some effects on this. So we can add an EQ and I want to remove the low end like this. Otherwise it will clash with the 808 later. And we can add also some reverb, but we need to move this low cut knob so the reverb will only affect the high end. Okay, I like this man. And we can also add the Stereo Shaper with the Stereoize 3 preset to make the sound of it more wide. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now that we have this foundation, we can build a beat around that. So now I want to find the top melody and maybe change the sound of it later. Whoa. Yeah, I like this man. But now with this piano it sounds uh, too invasive and it's covering the bass notes and we want them to be in front of the mix. So I want to find another sound. I will go in the new kit that I'm making and let's try to use a bell. Yo. Let's pitch this down. Yeah. So now the beat is starting to sound more full and I like this. We need to add some effects on this too. To remove the low end. We can keep this high end. And it already has some reverb so I don't want to add it again. But I feel like this melody could be flipped. So I want to try to add portal on this. Let's find a good preset from my bank. Yeah this sound good. And I want to try to stretch it. Maybe again. Yo. And we can stop it here maybe. So let's see with the other melodies. I like this man. We need to add some reverb on this. Yeah, it's adding a nice texture and I like this. But I want also to automate the pan of it. So we can select LFO here and mess with these settings. Yeah. I want to add something like some strings, so I will open expand. Let's try to use these uh, soft strings, because we are missing a pad in this bit. Wait, let's do something like this. Yo, I like that. But it's not the right sound though. Yo. This is fire. That's the right sound. By the way, this is a key from the new kit that I'm making and it will be out soon. Okay, I like this and this is sounding really pretty full and we could add some crazy drums on this. But I want to create like a B part, maybe in the verse, where we have a fast piano melody. Ooh.
You need to also reverb on this. Yeah, this sounds good. But now we need to add a bass on this. So I will open Boo Bass. That is a stock plugin. Because I think you can find a really good bass with this. We can just copy the piano pattern and paste it here. We can boost the bass. Maybe also the treble. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so I think now we have no variation for this beat. And now we can try to arrange it a little bit. So we can start with the main piano and the bell. And the bass. Yeah. Oh, this can be the drop. Then on the second part of the hook, we can bring back again this pad. Then on the verse, we can remove this piano melody and bring back the bell. Maybe also with the bass. Okay, that's a fire arrangement, man. Now it's time to add some crazy drums on this. Okay, so I will use the drums from the Nebula Cosmic Drum Kit. And by the way, guys, if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. And I also have a free version of it, so don't miss out. So let's start with a clap. In this type of beats, you will find a lot of this legs one. And let's layer this with a lower note. Yeah. Then we can create some more variation here. For the hi-hats in this type of beats, they use really sharp hi-hats and we can select two steps here, really simple like this. And the volume of them is really low in these beats. Yeah, something like this. Now let's add a hat, love to use this one. And as I said at the start, we can follow that main bounce, maybe creating some variation. Yeah. Let's add also a perk. Yeah, let's use this rim. The rim in these beats is really popular. They just do something like this at the end of the second bar. And we can also change the pen of them. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And now it's time for the 808, man. You already know we are going to use the spins. And make sure to reset the pen to zero by clicking gold and left clicking here. Ooh. And that's fire. So hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it remember to drop a sub, like and comment and check out this video if you want to make the hardest beats.